everyone. Happy New Year. It's April Dunham here. Today I want to show you a resolution tracker that I built in Power Apps. So I don't know about you, but for me, every year at the beginning of the year, I write in OneNote the goals or resolutions that I have for the year. Uh, this year I thought, well, why don't I build something in Power Apps to handle this instead of using OneNote? So that's what I did. As you can see here, it's a pretty simple app. I can create a new goal or resolution and I can view the existing goals that I have and I can review some simple reports to check in and see how I'm doing all my goals. So if I go and create a new goal, for example, I have a category so I can assign this is a health goal, a wealth, a work, or a personal goal. So maybe for work, for example, my goal is to get a promotion. And maybe I want to get that promotion by September 1st. I'll commit to this goal. It'll add that to my goals list. And the back end of this actually is just a SharePoint list. So I have a resolutions list that I'm keeping these entries in. And as you can see, it's actually applying a icon for the relative goal. So this is a work goal, so it has a picture of a person at a desk. Um, if I go back, I also have this left nav area to get back and forth. So if I go back to the home screen, I can create a new goal. Uh, maybe I want to lose 10 pounds. Wouldn't we all like to lose 10 pounds? And I'll keep that by, you know, January of next year. So when I add lose 10 pounds, now I have the icon is this heart icon because it's a health goal. So that's how I can keep track of the, the different type of goals. And just for grins, I'll go back and create one more. Let's do a wealth goal. So I want to save money to go on a cruise this year. And let's change that to by December 1st, maybe. Commit to that one. And the wealth goals have a little money bag icon. So from this screen, I have a legend down here that tells me that star means the goal is complete, a check mark is to mark the goal complete, pencil is to edit the goal, and the trash can is to delete the goal. As you see, um, so maybe I already lost 10 pounds. Wouldn't that be great? Three days, lose 10 pounds. So if I click the check mark, it pops up this dialog box. Are you sure you want to confirm that you completed this goal of losing 10 pounds? If I click confirm, tells me great job I completed my goal and it changes the icon to a check mark and I have the star to let me know that this goal has been completed if I needed to change one of the goals I can click the pencil button so maybe I want to be more specific on this I need to save two thousand dollars to go on a cruise I can save that and it updates the goal accordingly if I go over here on the left and click on the reporting icon, and now I can see my progress. So by category, here are the breakdown of the personal, wealth, work, and health related goals that I have, and the progress. So I have this many in progress and this many completed. Pretty cool, right? It's a great and easy way to keep track of your goals for the year. Okay, so let's go and see how the app is made. Now there's nothing too complicated really about this app. So as you can see, I have five screens here. The welcome screen, pretty straightforward. I've just grouped some icons and circles and labels and did a um, navigate on the on select to the appropriate screen. So again, pretty straightforward there. On the new resolution screen, I just inputted some labels and controls. Um, so this is a drop-down control um, with some categories. For the categories, I'm setting those here on the on start of my app. So when the app is started, I'm defining a collection of categories um, here and with associated images. So I'm saying if this is a health category, the image should be this heart icon and the color should be red in wealth, etc., so on. So that's being defined on the start of the application. And I'm using that here on my new resolution screen to populate my drop down list. The goal is just a multi line of text, text field, and the accomplished by is just a date field. 
my commit button I'm just using a patch like I said before the data source for this is a SharePoint list so I'm just patching this to that SharePoint list and navigating to the resolution details screen now if we move on to the resolution details screen here's where some a little bit more complicated stuff's going on here so here's my gallery and it's just a um, horizontal gallery the data source being my resolutions list in SharePoint. So if we expand this gallery, we'll take a look at the image property. Here's a little formula that I'm using to accomplish this. So what I'm saying is, if I'm checking for the status. So if status is complete, I want the image to be the accomplished checkmark image. Otherwise, I want to look up to that categories collection that I defined on start that we just looked at and see if the title matches the currently um, selected category for the item in the gallery and if so display the image property from that categories collection so just taking a step back if we go back to that welcome screen and on the on start property that's why on this collection I'm defining the title which is the category name and the image here so that I can look up to this and pull in the necessary image in that lookup function that we see here now the other thing that I wanted to show you what I did here is in regards to those dialog boxes that we saw so when I click that check mark it popped up a dialog box asking if you're sure you want to mark this um, goal complete so if we look here I have a group called group confirm complete so this is that hidden dialog box so within this group I have a rectangle object I have a label that's asking um, that's saying confirm completion of goal and I have a button and um, a icon to cancel out so the cancel icon if you look here on the cancel icon I am setting the on select to update a variable called show pop-up light box to false meaning um, hide this dialog box so if we look here on our group itself and go to the visible property that's set to that variable show pop-up light box so as we click um, the cancel button or if we click the confirm button it would set that to false so that this would be hidden and when we click this check mark here it sets it to true so if I look on the on select of this check marks I'm updating the context to show pop-up light box true so it's just a simple trigger to show and hide that dialog box and I'm doing the same thing for the delete as well and the last piece of this app is the reporting screen for the reporting screen all I did was insert a pie chart in Power Apps and the only customization that I did on these is in the items and the item colors so if I expand out the items property of this by category pie chart you can see I'm doing some grouping so I'm getting my resolutions data source which is that SharePoint list and I want to get the category and I want to get the count of the category so I'm counting the number of rows for each category and that's the what's pulling in the data here in my graph the next thing we want to look at is the item color set property so this is kind of a complex kind of a long formula here so let's pull this down so for here I have a for all function so I'm saying for all the resolutions switch on category so I'm saying if the category is wealth then the color on the pie chart should be green if it's health red personal blue and work yellow um, anything besides those options we should it should be purple and we're doing the pretty much the same thing over here on this other pie chart we're just doing some for the items we're doing a group by and but this time we're doing a count of the different statuses instead of the categories 
and for the item color set property on this one we are just switching on status so if status is complete the color should be green if status is in progress the color should be blue so those really were the only complicated pieces of the app so what's great about this app is the extendability. So not only can it be for personal goals, but you can use it for um, HR standpoint to track your employees' goals. Also, you can add flow into the mix and send emails to remind users to keep on track with their goals. Hope that provided you some ways of how you can extend this application, and I will see you next time.